What's up, party peeps? It's Chris from Profoto, and this is Geared Up. This is our once a week live exploration into lighting, just having fun, talking about gear, lighting techniques, and other kinds of cool things like that. If you're watching this bad boy on profoto.com right now, you'll probably see some links pop up around the edges, like the side, the top, or bottom. If you're watching, depending on you're watching it from a phone or a computer, you can click on those bad boys if you want some more information on some of the stuff that we're shooting with. If you're watching this bad boy on Facebook or YouTube, those aren't gonna pop up, but let's party. So, what are we getting into today? Today, we're talking about creating light rays. Light rays are a really cool way to add visual interest to your shot. If you're looking for, and again, just like anything in photography, you don't want to just start throwing light rays into everything just because it's a cool way that you can add an element to it, but it's another way to kind of help tell the story with your photography, or if you're just trying to look for something that adds like kind of brings the contrast down a little bit like that. It looks really, I think it kind of looks ethereal. It's really, really cool looking. Uh, but it's a really, really simple process to do. Essentially, it just comes down to getting some sort of uh, like a vapor or a, a small mist, something with small particles in between the light and your camera. So that way, when the light hits those particles, it kind of disperses them, and you can actually start to see that beam of light, which is really, really cool. And then you can start playing with it with a little, with other things too, uh, such as like what we have set up here. Like uh, I took some foam core and I, I punched a whole bunch of holes inside of it, so um, the light will be able to kind of pop through a whole bunch of places. If you don't want something that extreme, you could simply take the light and and point it at something, and then shoot it through like you know fog or uh we have two things that we can show you for like in studio um we have this aerosol and a can stuff uh i'll give you a little disclaimer on the aerosol and the can stuff here in just a second but then we also just have like a mister with water inside of it uh again it's just gonna shoot uh shoot, put those water particles up into the air it'll do a really good job when the light hits it kind of refracts off of it and gives a nice beam uh big shout out to my my boy anders hanala on the uh the water thing i never thought about using a mister which is kind of cool so just a disclaimer if you're using this uh aerosol in a can stuff so uh this is kind of oil based so if you're going to be inside like we are, you wanna to try to ventilate it, like we're gonna have our windows open and stuff like that, and we have some, some fans and stuff kind of pushing some stuff out. Uh, but this oil base, if you let it kind of sit around, and we're also, for that reason, we have one B10 that's kind of far away from it, but the rest of it, we're using A10s in the background. Uh, that's just so there's no fans to kind of suck this aerosol stuff up. This oil stuff can actually uh, sit on top of your circuit boards and stuff like that. So uh, if you're gonna use the aerosol to can, you know, use it outside uh, if you can, or or make sure you're really, really well ventilated uh, like uh, we are here. So we're gonna be using both of them just so you can kind of see the differences in the, um, and kind of what you get. Uh, but also you can use a fog machine. There's a lot of really good fog machines out there that are, uh, that use a water-based um, fogging system. So look for that. Try to stay away from some of the oil-based things because you don't want them to get inside your, your lights because those fans will suck. Uh, that air, uh, those particles into the light itself. So and again, it's the reason I've got a B10 really, really far away from this. The air is coming through here, out through <laughs> some the windows that will crack open here in just a second whenever we get the uh, this whole thing going. But again, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be shooting a couple of A10s through this background. So yeah, I, they can't really see the. Yeah. Whole so, oh, you know, what, here. Let's um. Yeah. Hold on a second. Let's do it this way. Just so you guys can see this. Let me grab another B10 here. There we go. So, so you can kind of see there's a whole lot of hole. There's a whole lot of holes. Oh, here we go. Let's brighten it up. There we go. So there's a bunch of holes kind of drilled into the back of uh, this foam core. It's just, you know, standard arts and crafts foam core here. And that way when the light goes through it and it hits all the, um, all the fog particles or the water particles, they'll start to disperse out and, and kind of jut out everywhere. I could have taken it a little bit, honestly, that took me a long time to punch all those holes in that thing. Uh, and that was even with me trying to be smart and sandwich it together uh, and punch it through at the same time. See, I thought it was gonna be really cute here in this top corner and kind of do it in a pattern. And then I realized I, I don't have time for that. Um, so 
But what you could also do is like, I have that black seamless in the background too, just to kind of continue the black theme of the, the shot and you'll see it of the photo here in a second. But you could do the same thing. You could punch the holes just directly into the seamless if you wanted to go for a look like this. Really, really easy stuff to do. Um, and then just put the light in between it. But again, all the rays of light are is taking light and shooting it through some sort of a fine mist, a fog or something like that. It's a reason like, you know, you see those foggy landscapes and you can see the sun rays going through. It's just because those sun rays are hitting that water, that liquid vapor in the air. And it's just kind of refracting all over the place and you can see it. It's really, really pretty stuff. And it's a really fun technique to do inside. So I'm gonna stop gabbing about it because it's actually a really easy process and we're gonna take some photos. So again, just so you know, the lighting setup that we have going on here, I have two A10s um, behind the foam core right here. So there's an A10 here, A10 here, they're staggered. So one of them's lower, one of them's higher. It's just some visual interest that it'll add. They both have CTO gels on them. I just wanted to warm the shot up. I just wanted it to look a little warm. Uh, just a personal preference. You don't have to do that. I just think it looks nice. Uh, and then I have a B10 plus right here, or B10X plus, sorry. Uh, I forget to always say the X part now. But I have a B10X plus with the OCF2 kit on the front of it with a click in CTO gel there as well and an extra large umbrella. I just want like a soft fill. So this feels like the main light coming through and then this kind of just fills it back in a little bit. It maybe feels like a, a, a nice soft reflected light. Really, really pretty stuff, but it's simple. And then with Kate here, we'll spray um, the liquids. Um, we're gonna do the the, fo the the fog, the aerosol in the can first, because once I, see, once I spray this water and it gets on Kate's hair and it falls, and she murders me. At least the <laughs> at least <laughs> at least the live will be wrapping itself up. So I'll go with the fog first. I'm gonna open up and, and make sure we're all ventilated up. But we're gonna be spraying it right here in between. That way, when the light hits it, you'll see the rays go all over the place. Uh, we can do the same. Th I can do the same thing too, where I can take this away for a minute if you just wanted to see it going through a single uh, light beam without having to worry about like all the extra stuff. We can do that too, uh, just for funsies. All right, you ready for me? Yeah, we're ready for it. I'm looking. What's up, everybody? I see you down. Oh, what's up? Uh, Sudan in the house. What's happening uh, out there on the YouTubes? Yep. Yeah. Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year's, everybody. Yeah, I haven't seen y'all in like a month like and a half. Yeah, it feels like forever. Yeah. But yeah, we've been, uh, we've been trying to retool, get some cool ideas pumping. Let's get this air flowing. There we go. Get some ideas pumping. And that way we could... Uh, come up with some more fun live stuff. So it's really good, really good stuff. So you ready to rock and roll, Kate? I'm ready, let's do that. I've got my phone here for my trigger. I'm gonna cut to this, there we go. Cool. Right. So let's just, I'm gonna make sure you're in hey. focus. Hey, everybody. So you're, you're ready to rock and roll? I'm ready, let's do it. Cool, I'm just gonna make sure we pull focus. I'm gonna grab the can of stuff. So I'll take a shot before I spray anything to, so you can see that like, even though the light will come through the board, you won't see you know, a whole bunch of light rays. So let's get this bad boy going. Make sure we're connected, you ready? So three, two, one. So here's the shot. No fog, no anything. Actually, did not that A10 turn off? We have one. We have one. Let's just, let me give you, let's take one more really fast. Three, two, one. Oh, that was mad. I think it did it though. No. No, hold on a second. I'm having a little misfire action. Let's see. Three, two, one. There, there it is. There you are. There it is. It seems like it was a little bit mad at me. I want to bring it over just a little bit. Like right there. Cool. So you can see the light is, is piercing through the, the background, but it doesn't really look like much. I mean, it, it just looks like, you know, holes poked in your background. But... When you get all fancy and you start shooting this stuff in front of it, so I'm gonna make sure I'm kind of out of the way. Here we go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. You can see there, once you start putting something in between the light and the, the camera, you can see that the rays start popping out a lot. Uh, the cool thing about doing kind of like that Swiss cheese look on the background is it's going to take light beams and shoot it all over the place, which I think is really, really pretty. Uh, Kate thinks it's also really, really pretty. 
Um, before I shoot water, I'm gonna move this thing out of the way real fast and just show you what it looks like if you were to do it without cheese graters, if you just, you were using beams of light. So you can just stay right there. I'm just gonna, yeah. I'm gonna try to keep it intact for when I put it back. It's probably not gonna work out knowing me. Um, oh, uh, I'm glad I hit that thing just so I can uh, remember to talk about something here. So say you don't want the, um, the cheese grater background, but you'd love, still love to have some light rays. Same thing applies. So let's, let's can of aerosol this bad boy up. I'm going to back up a little bit from Kate too. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. She wants me to hold on. My hands. How are my hands? She's yeah. telling me to hold three, two, one. Three, two, one. So I do, you know what? I do have the lights powered up quite high uh, to go through that black background. Let me pull it down a little bit. Let's go down. Kind of funky though. I like it. It's very, very cool. Yeah. What did I go down to? Seven. Yeah, it looks really ethereal. It's really, really pretty. You can do some cool stuff for it. It reminds me of the uh, the Mariah Curie glitter poster <laughs> from back in the early two oh, thousands. Yes. Yeah, let's go. Good reference. Let's go, Mariah. <laughs> let's do it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. So we pulled the power down a little bit. It's not so over the over the place but really really cool stuff and honestly they're still shooting from behind so you're not going to see much directionality in the light ray um let's take this one out for a split second i'm messing this whole thing up then i'm like you know what let's put it all back together so let's go from this direction you know what i'm not going to adjust this one sorry Let's go with the, the tire up one. That way I can just bring it right back to where it was. So let's go from this direction and we're gonna spray. Position yeah, same position. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna flash the light over your shoulder so hopefully it gives a, a nice single beam. The nice thing about like a fogger or the aerosol in a can, it's a really, really fine mist. So it, it lights up really well. You'll see something really, really cool whenever we break out the spray bottle here in just a second, which is also equally as cool. So let's get this stuff. Again, we're well ventilated. If you're gonna do this inside, please try to be well ventilated. You wanna, you wanna keep this stuff like, this, our air is coming straight through there and it's taking it away from our flashes, our flash right there that's on pulling air in, so. And it's chilly today. <laughs> it's a cold day. It's a cold day outside. Ready? Three, two, you know what? I should do it from the other side since the light beams over here. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, I turned it on. I'm such an idiot. I turned it off. I'm a dummy. And this one, and this one, this one was on like flashing right at the, right at the screen. Here we go. Right. Let's actually, All right, let's try it again. Let's do here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. So there you can actually start to get some direction with it. If, you, if that's what you're looking for, if you just want kind of that single light source, that single point with the, um, with your, your light beam, if you're not looking for something like the cheese grater setup that we have, but we're cheese grater. Let's, you know, before we go to back great. to the cheese grater, let's go to the, let's go to the, the water bottle. So the water bottle is cool because the particulates are a little bit larger. So it kind of looks like glitter. It's kind of sick. So, and this was a move, like I said, my buddy Anders Hanala told me about. Cause you I, put that? No, let's just do it with this for a second and then we'll throw it back in there and show them what it looks like with the cheese grater. Okay. Let's just have fun. So I think the water's kind of dope. Um, just make sure you're not spraying your equipment with it. So just be careful with water you know, or your model's hair. Just, you know, I'm right here in between. She's probably still gonna feel it, but <laughs> three, two, one. Cool. So it's a nice mist, it's really, really pretty. It's a little far off to the side, but it adds a cool little glitter effect. And we're gonna do the same thing here right now with the cheese grater background, but just to show you that it does, that, what it is that we're, we're going for. So, got the cheese grater back in business. You did such a great job on this whole So good. I'm proud of you, I'm so artistic. I'm not gonna lie, I may or may not have had a lot of 
uh, foam core in my nostrils. So in case you were wondering, I know you all care so much and just you're so interested. <laughs> so cool. We got this one. Let's get this other little guy right here. And then we're gonna do the same, like I said, the same shot, but with um, water particles this time. It looks pretty cool. I think you'll like it. And again, just to go to show you, if you don't have something like an aerosol in a can or a fogger, you don't have to go like crazy and get one. Like you can just get a spray bottle from this spray like bottle. Tree or something. Yeah, yeah, this spray bottle right here is a professional spray bottle. I just got it from a home improvement store. So, and it was like super cheap. And it's the, the power that comes out of it is pretty nice. So it gives a nice little uh, spread of, of water, spray, dust, water dust. You know, we're out here. Vapor, I like it. Cool, I'm trying to back it up a little bit so I don't spray Kate too much again. I value my life. Appreciate it. Yeah, I value my life. So, I think that's a good, I just wanna check my frame. We're still good. Sweet, let's do this. Oh, I know, because we're shooting again back through that, um, that black foam board, we wanna make sure we powered it all the way back up. That way, the light can kind of creep through those cheese greater spots perfect yeah we're good so i've got my trigger and we'll look at y'all's questions here in a second just in case anybody has any we just want to keep rolling for a second so we can close the windows up a little bit if we have to so we go three two one three two one three two one cool Sweet, that worked great. So let's look at some photos and compare it. Thanks, Kate. You're welcome. So again, I think the water vapor is kind of cool just because of the, that glittery effect that it adds to it. Kate's like, get my jacket immediately. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, um, hey, I'm just gonna see if I have any questions. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Yo, yo, yo. Hi there. Oh, there it goes. Sweet, sick. Hello everyone, let's go, let's go full screen. So with the, let's go up to the top where we were shooting just a second ago with the cheese grater. So you can see here with the shot with, there not, not being too much in between the, um, really with nothing in between the light and the camera, you still see the light beams. I mean, listen, there's some cool, um, lens flares that we're getting out of that, which is really cool, but it's not necessarily what we're going for. But as soon as you introduce like those small particles of like an atmosphere in a can or a spray bottle of water, it really starts to refract off all those particles and you get this really interesting light beams. Again, we shot it through a foam core board that I had. I just got it at a craft store or you know, your whatever store that you, that sells foam core. And I just took a drill and it just went pew, 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 uh, about 50 million times. So if you know of a better way of doing that, please save me. But it, it, it turned out really, really cool. The lines, you know, you can, if you look closely, you can see, you can tell they're all drilled. The holes aren't perfectly round, but it does exactly what it's supposed to do. They're all a little off. Uh, depending on what you want to, you can go with a larger hole. Like you could use an X-Acto knife and cut out some bigger holes. I know um, I've seen people kind of do like the camouflage looks where it has like these bigger pieces out of it. So whatever it is that you're looking for, it's really, really cool. So let's do a comparison with the fog and then, and then again, here it is with, um, if we were doing just fog with no, uh, none of the, the extra little holes thing, you can see there's still a nice pattern. It still gives some texture to that fog, but I really, really like this uh, pointed light right here. So let's get rid of this one, and then we will go down and show you what's really cool about using water. So the cool thing about the water is it adds kind of like this textury glittery effect. And granted, you could probably get a, um, a water bottle that sprays an even finer mist. Uh, this is just, again, like a, um, a professional sprayer. So I think it's meant to like kick out uh, an absolute crap load of water. So it's probably why the particles are a little bit larger. Um, but still a really cool effect. Again, if you don't want to have to worry about, uh, you know, that oily residue that you can get from like one of these aerosol and a can type things, which again, if you're doing this inside uh, and you're not well ventilated, I would probably advise against it just because again, it can really gum up your flashes. And if, um, if it shorts something, you know, it could, it could, 
you know, take out a circuit board or something like that. So if you can't be well ventilated, the, the water bottle with the spray is a, an awesome option. It's an awesome option if you just want to go that route anyway. If you already have a spray bottle sitting around the house uh, and you want to make some cool art, you can do that with that. So really neat stuff. But again, it's just about getting light or getting something in between your light and your camera to refract some of that stuff off. So the finer particles like over here with the, the fogger or the atmosphere in a can is gonna give kind of that a little bit milkier look. Whereas something with a little bit larger particle like the spray bottle that I used is gonna kind of give like a shimmery look, still creating really, really nice rays. But you can see that those particles are clearly bigger. Um, here, let me just give it a little zoom in. They're, they're out of focus because the focus is on Kate, but you can see particle wise, it's much finer over here than it is right here. So also something to note, we experimented with these things. Uh, Kate and I use these, uh, you know, let me get the smaller one. The smaller one would be easier to hold. So Kate and I experiment with these things all the time is for gobos. It's these cool little metal mesh things uh, that you can get at a home improvement store. There's so much cool stuff that you can get at a home improvement store to, to make cool art. The thing that we, <coughs> pardon me, the thing that we realized with this is that there's so much light kind of coming through. There's not enough. Um, there's not enough light being blocked, which is why this works so well. One, because you're shooting into a black card, so it's going to absorb a lot of light. And then the light that's coming through, there's not as much. So and and they're bigger openings. So we were able to get um, much more defined. Uh, light rays than we were with so like we used this gigantic one because we thought maybe it was just the opening thing so we used this gigantic one here that is a little more closed off kind of the the union I think they call this one the union jack uh, mesh um, but even even with the the weave on this being as tight as it is it's still let and it could have also been that it's silver uh, it just let way too much light through it really just looked like um, the shot that I showed you where we took out the cheese grater background altogether. So although those meshes are cool and if you like to use them for gobos like we do, we love to use them for gobos, it didn't work as well for this. So I'm about to fall over. So you probably want to stick to something if you're going to go with a pattern kind of a situation, you're probably going to want to stick with something that um, has you know less light getting through it it's gonna give you more direction. It's also, this light rays is a technique you see a lot of too in uh, a lot of magazine editorials where you see people like using a Fresnel uh, lens, kind of that uh, to look like Hollywood style glamor lights. Uh, it's, they're doing the same thing, just so you can see that light beam from the Fresnel. They're just adding a little bit of a fog or a mist to the scene. It gives it a little more, um, it just adds another element to it, but it helps see that light ray. So let me see if I have any questions. Poses are, yeah, the pose could be awkward. It's uh, just kind of playing with stuff. Thanks everybody. Sorry, I'm checking out my, uh, seeing if I have any, if I missed anything. Sweet, what's up my boy, Joel? How's it going? So again, light set up. We have a B10 X Plus right here uh, with a extra large white umbrella just as a fill light. It's supposed to just make the two lights coming from the back feel like the mains because that's really what they are. And it's just supposed to, to bring some light back in so it's not a silhouette shot. It's not what we wanted. So we kept it nice and soft so it didn't feel like another, um, another harsh light coming back from the front because we wanted the main uh, detail lights coming from the back. So, uh, and then in the back we have two A10s, CTO gels on it. Uh, everything has a full CTO gel on it uh, with CTO gels on that and nothing else. So, and then zoomed, one zoomed all the way in and one zoomed all the way out. And then we just have them staggered to give some different, uh, some stance. So really cool stuff. And I think that's it for the day. I don't, are there any questions I missed? No, I think we answered them all. Sick. Well. Thank you all for coming and kicking it with us. This was super fun. Really, really easy technique to do. Again, just put some sort of fine mist or particle between your camera and the light. Oh, someone actually suggested pegboard. Oh, pegboard's a great idea. The, the only thing that I would wonder about pegboard, uh, and I don't, all my pegboard's actually screwed to the wall or, or else I would pull one and, and check. Um, the only thing that I wonder about pegboard, and, and maybe you're totally right, maybe pegboard was definitely the move and I'm just a nincompoop, um, is I would wonder if it's too, 
if it's if the holes are too small and and, and open kind of like something like this um i want to experiment with it now i think i might actually take one of my pegboards off the wall and, and mess around with it so thanks for the heads up on the pegboard shouts shouts to my pegboard people out there sweet cool i don't think i've oh oh if anyone uh, someone's i think they're asking my um settings for my shoot uh f8 iso 160 1 250th of a second shutter speed uh camera xt3 for anyone who wants to know if it's a fuji film camera and i'm using the 56 millimeter which is a, an 85 millimeter equivalent so it's one of those things that um if you're if you're trying to figure out what you want there so but again really really fun stuff super duper easy again water's really good inside uh or if you're going to use a fogging machine try to get something that's water-based and not oil-based if you're going to use the aerosol in a can stuff make sure you're either outside or in a really really well ventilated studio space that you can open up the windows you can run some fresh air through and hopefully get it out uh, like we have going on so just remember to, to keep those things in mind when you are uh doing this technique so again water fogging machines aerosol in a can great options for making light rays so in the meantime i hope you have an awesome week we'll see you next week with another episode of geared up so peace out everybody have a good week